In this video, I'm going to be making a three-quarter inch bottom fuller for blacksmithing. I've got six inches of 4140 tool steel, and what we're going to be doing um, is drawing out a shank here, a taper, on one end. And the other end, we're going to put into a hardy hole and upset down the remaining mass on the steel and what that's going to do is give us a nice chunk on top of the hardy hole and with that chunk we can create different shapes such as a fuller or a hot cut or just a square block or a number of different shapes um, that can fit in a hardy hole so uh, here we go I wanted to take a second to talk about the tools I'm going to be using since I'm by myself I'm going to be using a 50 ton hydraulic press instead of hand hammers to do this. I do have a video on my YouTube channel of us upsetting a hardy tool with hand hammers. If that's what you'd like to see, go check that out. Um, right here I've got fullering dies on the press and that's going to help me draw out the shank. And then from there I will hand hammer and just smooth up the taper. Earlier today I fabricated a die for making bottom hardy tools. Um, this is the first time I'm using it so it's sort of experimental. Right now the 4140 that we just drew the taper on is sitting inside of it and what I'm going to do is put it under the press and upset it. Here is the finished forged bottom fuller. Um, 
my new die worked pretty great, so I'm pretty thrilled about that. Um, the way I do this is leave leave a good shoulder right here and then pinch this out with the pullers. This is at three quarters of an inch right here. And what's next is the grinding process. And all I'm gonna do is get this section flat and then radius over everything. Everything else should be forged to finish. on the top. You may have noticed that I didn't heat treat the bottom fuller and that's because it only contacts hot steel and the anvil. 4140 tool steel just alone not heat treated is much more durable than mild steel. On the other hand a top fuller I do heat treat because it's getting struck by a sledgehammer. I use a heat treating oven and um, commercial quench oil to heat treat all of these. If you'd like to purchase a fuller or any other blacksmithing tool, you can contact me directly through email, liam at hoffmanblacksmithing.com or go to my website, www.hoffmanblacksmithing.com. Thanks for watching.